everyone. We are back with our shared reading, How to Make Guacamole. It is a nonfiction, which means it is a true story. It is true. It's a technical text. The standard is analyze text elements, and our skill is describe text connections. I'm going to do a quick read through on this. We've already covered this, but just to refresh your memory, it's How to Make Guacamole. Guacamole is a dip made from avocados. The tasty treat pairs well with chips and is often served with spicy foods such as tacos and fajitas. Did you know that avocados are also called alligator pears? That's partly because they are shaped like pears and have bumpy green skin like alligators. Although avocados may look like vegetables, they're actually fruit. When making guacamole, it's best to use ripe avocados. Here's how to make sure an avocado is ripe. First, Carefully press your thumb down on the skin. If it's really hard, the avocado is likely not ripe yet. If the skin moves a little, then it's probably ready to eat. Make sure the avocado is not too soft though. If you can squash the skin down a lot, an avocado may be overripe and mushy inside. Remember that a lot here is two words. Try to use that when you write the word a lot. Try to put that in your mind and think about that. Here we have an ingredients list. So you'll need four ripe avocados, peeled, that's our verb, and cut, verb, into slices. Two medium tomatoes, chopped, verb. Two green onions, that's our, our noun, and then finely chopped is our verb. Two cloves of garlic, minced, minced is the verb here. Two tablespoons fresh lime juice, one quarter cup cilantro, chopped, chopped is the verb. One half teaspoon kosher salt, sprinkle of cayenne pepper. And then we had this fast fact here. California produces about 90% of the United States avocado crop. We're on to the second part of the nonfiction technical text. And the first thing I notice is these bold words right here. This is telling me something very important. And then I look and I see, oh, this is a safety note. So I really want to pay attention here. Some of the ingredients have to be cut with a knife. You should never touch the sharp knife or cut things by yourself. So ask an adult for help. And then I also noticed the next part, it looks a lot like the ingredients list, but it says direction. So it's going to tell me some steps to do. So take notice, I, this bold, uh, or these big letters here tell me something very important. All right, the next part says directions. They are numbered, so you pretty much want to do them, you know, right in order. So number one, put the cut avocados in a bowl. Mash them with a fork, but don't make them too mushy. They should be a little chunky. Number two, add the two tablespoons of lime juice and sprinkle on the salt. Lime juice helps keep the dip from turning brown. Three. Add the green onions, tomatoes, minced garlic, and cilantro. Four, sprinkle on the cayenne pepper and stir the guacamole. Five, serve right away with tortilla or pita chips. Enjoy. I also wanted to point something out in third grade that when you are making a list like this, so let's say for number three here, add the green onions. They're making a list of these ingredients. You put a comma between each ingredient. So add the green onions, comma, tomatoes, comma, minced garlic, comma, and cilantro. So that's another little thing to kind of keep in mind when you're reading or notice when you're reading, or even when you, you can take that into your writing. Okay, so right away you see this is called sequencing. You have to follow these steps in order for your um, avocado dip to come out correctly guacamole. And then I want you to take a look at the beginning of all of these directions. I want you to notice that when you have directions for a recipe like this, they all start with a verb. So um, it says these are all verbs. These verbs tell you what to do. They are telling you what action to take. Put, it's telling you to put something somewhere and add verb. Add is a verb. Sprinkle is a verb, serve is a verb, even enjoy is, is a verb, I guess. And then the last portion of this is a big photograph, and we know that is a, 
a text feature for nonfiction. A lot of times you'll see actual pictures or photographs. So we have this big picture here and then at the bottom I noticed some words. These are called captions. So when you get curious about a picture, you can look down and see the caption. This one says chips and guacamole is a popular snack served at many parties. This is called a text feature photograph. And then we have this text feature, which is captioned. 